Hey guys, welcome to the five here. Oh, I think we're going to have well 44 for God knows how many. For the God knows what launch time this is. 50 seconds. Jelly, please secure at flight level. 30 seconds. Status check. Go Delta. Go NRL 44. 15 seconds. Roll for ignition. T minus 10. 10. 9, 9. 8. 8. 7. Seven. Oh, toasty. Five. Toasty. Three, two, one, zero, and lift off. Lift off. There lift we go. off. Five the United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket carrying the NRL 44 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. On all three RCA engines look good in the full press mode. Now 15 seconds into flight, we will begin the pitch over the universe. Body range is fine. Look good. That floor is a cool engine. The cool rocket event. Five seconds into flight, engine operating parameters continue to look good. Body That's one A. I'm good. tired. I barely count the functioning you to be a. Anchor booster has begun throttling down as expected. The partial thrust level engine response looks good. Anchor booster has achieved partial thrust level as expected. So yeah, for those unfamiliar with the cold booster, throttles back so that the out-of-two boosters run out of fuel first. Now passing one minute into flight. Delta IV is now 4.3 miles in altitude, 5.8 miles downrange distance, traveling at 1,200 miles per hour. Use those freedom units. <laughs> and at one minute twenty seconds into flight, vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle is also passing Mach one. Delta four is now supersonic. Now that's what's causing it's those condensation trails. At least partially, what's causing starboard booster in the full thrust mode, core booster in the partial thrust mode. Body rate continue to look stable throughout the boost phase of flight. Telemetry quality is look good throughout the boost phase. Now passing one minute, 46 seconds into flight. I mean, since this is a spice of life, we won't have video all the way to orbit insertion like normal. And Just the until the fairings get deployed. The system is pressurizing the flight levels. System response looks good. Engine operating parameters on all three engines continue to look good. Body rates continue to look stable. Vehicle has now gone to closed loop guidance. Seeing some correction in uh, the attitude as expected when vehicle switches over to closed loop guidance. Now two minutes, 37 seconds into flight, approximately three minutes remaining in boost phase of flight. And the Delta IV rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at liftoff, burning propellant at a rate of almost 5,000 pounds per second. Wow. Body rates in roll pitch and yaw have nulled out nicely now after the closed loop guidance switchover. And vehicle is now passing Mach 5. Engine operating parameters continue to look good. Port and starboard boosters in the full thrust mode, core booster in the partial thrust mode. I have no idea how long or what point the vehicle body that? rates have boosted out nicely now as the vehicle is continuing in the latter part of the boost phase. I think we're approximately 30 seconds now remaining until port and starboard booster engines cut off. And approximately two minutes now remaining in the boost phase of flight. I was in that's just First stage flight, essentially. And standing by for strap on engine throttle down. And strap you on engines have begun throttling down in preparation for engine cutoff. You do not actually need to um, hold those sideways on like you would with the 
solid rocket boosters because Important once they shut down, they shut down. Have cut off. There we go, and they've separated. And we've seen good indication of separation of the port and starboard boosters. Core booster is throttled back up to full thrust as expected. Uh, engine response looks good. Now four minutes, 20 seconds into flight. And the upper stage liquid oxygen system has begun boost phase chill down sequence to begin thermal conditioning of the RL-10 engine. And approximately one minute now remaining until BECO. And upper stage fuel system has now begun boost phase chill down. Uh, wouldn't be interesting about this. Core engine continuing to look good in the full thrust mode. Engine operating parameters look nominal. About this rocket. Now passing five minutes into flight. Is the upper stage engine has an extendable engine belt? And the Delta IV is now 71 miles in altitude, 360 miles downrange distance, traveling at 12,900 miles per hour. And approximately 10 seconds until core booster throttle down. So you have to get a bigger engine to fit into a shorter interstage they have. And core booster has begun throttling down in preparation for BECO, standing by for BECO. And we have BECO, booster engine cutoff, standing by for stage separation. Yeah, and we have good indication of separation, separation of the first and second stages. There you go, you can see the nozzle, nozzle extension, extension on the RL-10 is deploying. We have pre-start. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Chamber pressure on the RL-10 looks good. Body rate responses look good on the DCSS. Now passing 6 minutes 15 seconds into flight, engine operating parameters continue to look good on the RL-10. Uh, upper stage has begun initial thruster firing to, being, to begin catalyst bed warming. Seeing a couple of periodic dropouts in telemetry. And we have seen good indication of payload fairing jettison. Good. So that will conclude. Today's broadcast, launch on ROL 44, on button 25. Goodbye.